title says jailed woman who forced maid to strip and shower in front of her so this is out of uh singapore let me see here singapore a woman who forced her maid to strip and shower in front of her was on tuesday that's 17 august jail for 15 months and two weeks Rastiana Abdul Rahim, 33, was also ordered to pay the victim 2500 that's in Singaporean dollars, in compensation, failing which she would have to serve another 11 days behind bars. <laughs> She'd probably be willing to do it too, than to give the woman 2500 The culprit had been found guilty last month after a trial on six counts of abusing the foreign domestic workers. The charges are for insulting the then 21-year-old maid's modesty, using criminal force by pushing her into the shower, causing her to her eyes by putting powder on her face, threatening to harm the maid's family, pinching and kicking the victim's genital, and failing to give her adequate rest between 29 September and 12 December 2017. Rusty Edding is out on bail of $10,000 pending an appeal against both conviction and sentence. The victim was working at Rusty Edding's home from 29 December to 12 December 2017 after which she was sent back to the May agency. During that period, she was not given any days off. Aside from household chores, she also cared for Rusty and his children, a pair of nine-year-old twins. She would be required to go to Rusty and his mother's home almost daily to care for the children while Rusty Anna and her husband were at work. So, uh, so why can't she... Uh, care for the kids at the at the home where they live instead of her mother's place. The victim would sleep at irregular and late hours, sometimes past 1 a.m. She would wake up between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. Despite the lack of rest, she was forbidden from taking naps during the day. She initially slept on a pull-out bed, but was later forced to sleep on the carpet in the children's room. So this is like modern day slavery. Later, Rusty Annie made the victim sleep on the floor outside the common toilet, but the victim chose to sleep underneath the cupboard in the living room instead. She was not given a blanket or pillow. A batik cloth that she used to cover herself was thrown away by Rustiana, who said that it was smelly. Rustiana also threw away the maid's clothing and towel, ostensibly for the same reason. She then bought the maid new clothing, but deducted the cost from the victim's salary, which she never gave to the victim. A week into her employment, the victim told Rustiana that she did not wish to continue as she felt that the latter was fierce. Rustiana then asked for the telephone number of the victim's parents, demanding monetary compensation as she did not get the maid for free. After the phone call, the victim's father begged the maid to continue her employment as he did not have means to compensate her. The victim does continue working for the culprit. In November 2017, Rustina told her victim that she was smelly and insisted that the maid show her how she showered and dried herself without a towel, which the culprit had thrown away. Now, all this woman had to do, <coughs> and she wouldn't be in all this trouble that she is now, facing 15 months in prison, if you if you're not happy with somebody, you 
you take them back to the agency and the story that's it and the story and sh this is just an evil woman this is what was going on here she's purely evil Dro tr purely evil Graciana then dragged the maid dragged the maid to the toilet and sprayed water on her while she was still fully clothed the perpetrator then put shampoo on the victim's head and demanded that she remove her clothing. The maid complied. At one point, Rusdiana's husband entered the room and the maid tried to cover herself, but Rusdiana told the victim that her husband would not be interested. <laughs> yeah, right. After the maid cried out and remained silent, Rusdiana then insisted that the vic victim dry herself in the room where her husband was without a towel. Jeez. In another incident, Rustiana's family and the victim were preparing to stay at a hotel for three days when the culprit called the victim ugly. Now notice Singapore has different, different, uh, <laughs> different laws, you know? Using words like that can get you in trouble in Singapore. Call the victim ugly. Here in America, you call somebody ugly, that's not enough. That's not a criminal offense. Rustiana then poured baby powder all over the maid's face and forbade her from removing the powder. She also threatened to harm the maid's family. At the hotel, the rest of the family shared the bed while the victim slept on the cold floor. Rustiana even stopped the maid from using a bath towel to cover herself. Now that's really abusive. After another act of abuse, Rustiana's husband drove the victim to the maid agency and dropped her off. And that was uh, 12 December 2017. The maid had no idea that she was being sent back and had no belongings with her. So she took took the maid to the agency, doesn't even take her clothes or anything like that. So, you know, I mean, this is so ridiculous. At the agency, she reveal, revealed the fact acts of abuse and was brought to a police station to make a report. See, now in the old days, what used to happen, the agencies were so greedy for money that they would just keep it quiet and they would just say, okay, we'll find another uh, employer for you. But because the laws have changed, <laughs> now you see, they take the took the victim to the police station. But that's not how it used to be. It used to be just, oh, well, we just keep quiet. We'll find you another employer. So I, I hope the woman gets her 15 months in prison, you know? That's really a disgrace. And this, these kind of abuses, they go on in uh, S Singapore a lot. Singapore, Malaysia, sometimes Hong Kong. But mostly Singapore is infamous for these kind of abuses. And Malaysia, those two countries, Singapore and Malaysia, <laughs> please. And of course, in the Middle East, like Kuwait, for example. Kuwait is another country. You have lots of abuses going on. 